great human being. Down below in the comments, y'all put y'all's favorite jump shots throughout the whole year, your favorite fades. Within this video, man, I'm going to be showing you the best fades in 2K23, current gen and next gen, works for both, and the best jump shots in current gen and next gen, the best shooting badges, the best settings, everything that got it, the best shot release timing, everything that gotta do with shooting man i have a hundred one percent look y'all see that no squad record y'all see that no squad i do that lie i go into no squad with randoms and i win every game y'all know that's how you really test yourself because if you play with randoms if you miss they're not giving you the ball back i'm running point i'm carrying randoms i'm dogging p okay i'm the best shooter in the game listen to these tips it will help you and share this video man if you got a homie who can't shoot bro i i know <laughs> i play with randoms bro 80% of the community cannot shoot at all, bro. That's why jump shot videos get so many views. But look, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K in existence. And listen up, man, before I give you the best fades, okay? And I'm gonna teach you how to fade. I want to put y'all onto this. Shot release timing is the most important thing in this whole video. Put it on very late. I don't care what nobody says, bro. Makes it easier to time your shot, bro. If you don't think this is true, just pick a random timing. Just do this and go into a game and make sure it's different from what your normal release timing is. And you'll you'll see what's going to happen, my boy. You'll see what's going to happen. Take off your trigger effect, okay? In your PlayStation and in the game, okay? You can have your vibration on. I love vibration. But the trigger effect, I hear it all the time when I play with randoms. Even young kids. I thought it was only an old head thing. It's a sickness. You have to take this off. It will destroy you as a player bro it's too much it's broken okay we grown we don't need stuff vibrating in our hand man come on man straight and narrow <laughs> and by the way y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you want more tips for uh 2k24 and 2k23 all the best tips etc man i will always be giving that to y'all now look the best fade for bigger builds man is devin booker bar none okay devin booker is the best fade in the game trust me okay now i'm gonna tell y'all something that you don't know figure out what hand your my player is okay if you are right-handed if your my player is right-handed always fade to the right okay for all the bots and you know for all y'all people that is the easiest fade to hit in the game turbo fading is a little harder than not turbo fading okay but if you do same hand, you can make it almost every time. It's a very easy fade. Now the skill gap is when you can fade both sides, right? If you could fade off ball hand, then you know, that's the difference. But learn your main side hand and you'll be able to fade like a comp player. Even the compiest players in the game, the stage can only fade one way. They really can't hit that other fade. The difference is when you can, okay? Booker is amazing on current and next, bro. Promise. Now for small builds, the best fade would be Trey Young. Remember, if you're struggling with fading, try like make try like speed boosting and then letting go a turbo, right? You get different animation and stuff. You got to angle fade all that different type of stuff, but you can do the turbo fade to the same side and be Gucci, but you might need to let let off of it. That that's the secret with fading, bro. A lot of people don't be uh, putting people on, man. So remember, and tell tell your homies, fade to your strong hand, and you'll get quicker, you'll, you'll, you'll get better release. Hey, make sure y'all hit that like button if you're praying that uh, 2K24 is gonna be a good game, man. Even though we know it's not. Anywho, this jump shot right here is part of the holy trinity. I'm gonna be, you know, letting y'all know the most popular ones. But this jump shot right here is the best jump shot in the game. I don't care what nobody said. Best jump shot in the game. If you are a 6'5 plus build, use this jump shot, okay? If you can't get these releases, you can use other releases. It's the base. Bursette is the easiest jump shot to hit with, bro. I'm telling you, bar none. Even if you're a spot up build, bro. Use this jump shot and you will see. Now this jump shot right here, I'm not finishing the Holy Trinity. This jump shot right here is this, is the hardest jump shot to contest. So if you are a spot up, um, et cetera, uh, I would say go with this jump shot because you know, you could shoot over guards or whatever. 
or just in general, even if you're a big guard, bro, it's not as good as Brissett, but it's a very broken shot where it's hard for people to contest you, okay? So if you're in the corner, you know, people always play off they man, bro. You already are already going back. You're basically uncontested. So if you can master Butler, it could be a really OP, devious jump shot, bro. Okay? It's easy to hit with and everything. A lot of people think this is um, the best jump shot in the game. It's very consistent. You can even use it for smaller uh, builds. And um, you can get real good with it. A lot of top players use it. And by the way, I don't use release cues. Um, I go off a of feeling, okay? Release cues, it makes you slow down. It makes you read too much to where you're not going to get off shots quickly. You have to remember your load up animations and the stamina you have and then predict your release timing. And that's how you be able to shoot like me, okay? If you use cues, it's not it's it's you're gonna be delayed and there's gonna be so much going on that you're not gonna be able to visualize the incoming pressure and that exact cue is too much for the average bot okay so that's why i have a way easier time i remember the load up the stamina so like i remember like oh i got three fourths oh i got half Oh, I got one fourth. So the time it should be like this. And I, ha I have those muscle memories in me somewhat, but it's more of a predictability. And that's how you get it down, bro. That's the difference. But yeah, another immaculate jump shot. Okay. Let me finish showing y'all the Holy Trinity and the Kyle Kuzma. A lot of people think this is the uh, best jump shot in the game too, but I still think Brissett is the best. Okay. This is the Holy Trinity. Now here is um the fastest jump shot in the game, man. Uh, all the comp players use this jump shot. And we got Melo. Here's another dope uh, jump shot for small builds. Test it out, man. There's no way y'all guys should still be missing, man. Seriously. Everyone should be able to shoot, bro. All you gotta do is take the time to learn to shoot. Please spread this. I'm tired of the community not being able to shoot, bro. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.